I'm here with Tracy McGrady. Tracy, we just saw where you said you circled this day on your calendar. You were 18 years old when you last faced Michael Jordan. You said you were intimidated and a little scared. Any of those feelings today? Oh, not at all. No, I've matured over the years, so uh, I'm going to treat it like another game. I'm ready to play. You're going to have the obligation of trying to stop him. Can you do it alone? Can he be stopped, or are you going to need a little help? Well, obviously, um, he's going to put up a lot of shots, so it's going to be a little bit of both. I'm going to stop him, and he's going to stop himself, and my team is going to stop him. Tracy, good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. To beat a Miami team that has now lost 11 in a, in a row. Pat Riley's heat, two up and 13 down. And in their previous game this past Wednesday night, the Wizards very impressive in winning the Horace Grant. Three with Chicago, then last year with the uh, Los Angeles Lakers. Here's Jordan getting the step. So Michael takes it to the rim. Tease it with the finger roll. Come in and let it go before anybody else can get off the ground. On the road, that's, uh, that's been a factor. They have the big home stretch coming up starting Monday night as they're back home for the Memphis Grizzlies. It's always been a better second half team. The Heidi White rejected by Stephen Hunter. McGrady. Doug Collins just begging for transition defense, which we said, which he said was another one of the keys that time, just allowing the man to run right by the helpless man. Play defense if you want to. Michael Jordan being guarded by his former teammate Judd Buster with some help. Here's Hubert Davis on the 24. Maybe we're rotating too much. Maybe we're expecting too much help. And they got to learn how to guard their people. Oh, that's where they're getting in trouble. Up by Jones, Brendan Haywood, and Michael Jordan up front. And Jordan is being guarded by Tracy McGrady. Michael at the hit. So much more effective when he doesn't pump fake. Guys are not going for that fake around. Here. Tracy McGrady having a very difficult time on the offensive end. So he's third shot. Steve, we're halfway through the second quarter. Michael Jordan. That's his third field goal. Three for five. He has seven points. Lots of going all the way. Ooh. Jordan got, got poked in the eye. McGrady trying to reach in and make a play. He got Jordan in the eye. The terrific rebound by Jordan. Wizards trainer Steve Stricker checking over Michael Jordan. So Darrell Armstrong inadvertently uh, got a piece of, of Michael. And apparently he's all right. We'll be right back. Next March, the overall number one pick in the draft at Flynn Academy of Brunswick, Georgia, yes. And the Wizards are within two. Beautiful from lead pass, and then Tracy McGrady did the rest. You can make the argument that Tracy McGrady is as good as any of, of these young stars like Kobe Bryant, Vince Carter, Allen Iverson. So he's got to look to be aggressive and make it play. Oh, here's McGrady again. <laughs> Tracy McGrady and the foul. Right now, the Wizards have nobody on the floor that has a chance of even dreaming about covering Tracy McGrady. Hubert Davis has got the man to man. He is not having problem at all right now seeing out of the eye or being able to focus in. Mark? All right, thanks, Jim. Tracy McGrady going right at Michael Jordan, and Tracy has come on in this second quarter. Remember, he was also in early foul trouble. McGrady now has 10 points. He's ready to challenge anyone. Early, McGrady wasn't turning in against Jordan. Now, just turns in, goes right over the top, and gets that teaser to go Jump in. over people. Well, Jordan is back out on the floor. They want to get a hoop here, finish with some sort of offensive momentum. And here's Michael off the top. I thought that fake wasn't any good. I guess the eye is all right. <laughs> Beautiful passing. And Christian Leitner, the recipient of that Jordan assist. Gilbert Davis on the recovery. So beautiful, so smooth, and, and so fluid. What a move on Grant, taking to the rim, and hits Christian Leitner, working hard for his third field goal. He has six points, and Doc Rivers upset, takes a 20-second timeout. This is not a good sign here for Tracy McGrady. Uh, this is one of those buckets that hit oh, the bottom oh. of the rim and gets a, a good bounce.
they take McGrady out of the ball game with a whack. Whoa. And a bruising game for both Tracy McGrady and Michael Jordan. Brad Hill is out of action. Obviously in a great deal of pain. Head buried right there. Magic trainer Ted Arzonico checking out Tracy McGrady and has given him the green light. Tracy getting set to check back in. The foul was called on Jordan. That's three. The Wizards rallying. They've got to be able to shut him down and score. McGrady. So Tracy McGrady has 12 points. And the Magic up now 57-49. Great head-to-head -head matchup. The discipline by both players. Within six, Orlando is led by as many as 11. Here's McGrady. Yes, Tracy Thank McGrady you, has 14. Yeah, we saw the doctors before the game, and uh, he gave us great news. And uh, I'm, I'm just excited about that. And uh, I'll be able to resume. Doing Michael some. wasn't giving me any problems get your confidence back and, and be able to go all out and just know that it's not going to be that problem. Magic up by seven points for Grady forcing. Nice job by Jordan that time moving up quickly forcing Grady to, to take an extremely difficult shot. Michael Jordan who had missed the five previous shots. The defense of Michael Jordan, just that lunge forward at the initial part, forced McGrady into an extremely difficult shot. Then he comes right back with it, little shake and bake, elevates quickly, everybody else frozen. Michael Jordan, 6 of 14, at one point he missed five straight. He now has 15 points. Jordan and McGrady, very close when you check out the, the stats for the year, both among the leading scorers. And thus far today, McGrady with 14 points on 7 of 12 from the field and Jordan 6 for 14. Here's McGrady adding to that stat. Michael Jordan, he's matched up head-to-head -head with McGrady and when McGrady swings to the weak side, the double screen there, they've got to switch out. Hubert Davis a little slow on the rotation. Rebounds the other night against Boston when he had 12. Terrific pickup. Oh, McGrady got a piece of it. And last touch by Jordan. Good play by Tracy McGrady. He surprised Jordan with that quick poke away and then beat him to the ball. And Jordan is bouncing out and got the ball in good position. And he gets deflected. Wizards have shown an ability in these three or four wins here to come back oh. after trailing it. There's the old for two at the line, seeking his 18th point. Orlando has dominated the recent series. Now, uh, Hubert Davis defending on Tracy McGrady. You saw him check the clock and then throw it. McGrady with 20 and the Magic 68, the Wizards 59. Uh, we got to know that these guys are jump shooters. Make them shoot jump shots. Don't let that happen. That's the only way that you're going to. Hamilton able to take it to the rim. He has 15. In the post, Michael Jordan at his best, 38 years old, ready to freeze Tracy McGrady with a little hitch. Ewing comes over, and that just frees up. Say middle of the night? Absolutely. There's Hayward getting inside. On the night before the opener, Patrick Ewing, 11.30 at night. That's a baseline. Great. the foul. This guy, he has it all. Foul on Jordan. That is number four. Last season, Tracy McGrady was a one-man show after making the move from Toronto. Had a magnificent in the playoffs. Average 34 a game. And and Baron Davis. Let's expand the roster. This game tight. This is the fourth game in five nights for Michael. Here's McGrady over Hamilton and draws the trip to the line for McGrady. A favorable schedule coming up after playing eight of their first 11 on the road Monday night back home from Memphis. They're just going to milk McGrady. He is too good right now. And Pat Garrity. The ball is moving too freely as they are double teaming Tracy McGrady. And clock down to two, down to one, Armstrong. Comes to McGrady, spins his ball, and set it up for Armstrong with a block. Blocked by George. No transition game at all for Washington. Jordan rejected by McGrady. Tracy 
said he was looking forward to this game. He mentioned that at the outset, and uh, he has certainly delivered. Yes, he said he circled it. That has to be Leitner and Hewitt. McGrady to the rim. McGrady on the follow. Tracy McGrady with 26 points. Well, he's been great on the follow-up, so now you got to find out whether he has uh, another weapon. Armstrong for three. is the final. Tracy McGrady, 26 points on 10 of 20 shooting. Darrell Armstrong with 17 points and 12 assists. Michael Jordan just six for 19, 15 points. Richard Hamilton led the way for Washington with 21. Let's go over to Jim Gray. Jim? All right, thank you very much, Marv. 26 points for Tracy McGrady. Tracy, you told us in the pregame you had circled this date on your calendar. Did you meet your expectations, and did Michael meet your expectations in his performance? Well, I mean, I expected uh, it to be a good contest between the two of us, but I just wanted to go out and treat it like any other game. Uh, I know it's Michael Jordan, but, you know, we was on a three-game losing streak, so this win uh, was pretty big for us. You break the three-game losing streak. Do you feel as though you'll be able to get this type of contribution from Patrick Ewing night in and night out as the season goes on? Well, it might be a little bit inconsistent. But, I mean, when we can get it, it helps the team. But uh, that's all that we can ask. Just bring his energy and his low post present every night. And whatever we get out of it, and that's what we got to deal with. What's your next day circled? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I can't tell you. <laughs> Tracy, congratulations. Good all game. Right. All right, Mark, back to you.